or as the Prabhupada was uh, giving initiation to the devotees, and he pointed out to them they have to have neck deep. So, Prabhupada said, it is just like you are on a boat, Prabhupada replied. If you are on a boat, then I cannot say you are not on the boat, is it not? So you are on the transcendental boat, therefore you are on the transcendental platform. You cannot say that you are not, but the waves are coming and they are rocking the boat. Prabhupada gestured with his hands like a boat is rocking. So the waves of the material nature are coming, he confirmed, and they are rocking the boat. But when you become an expert boatman, then even in the greatest storm you can stay steady and steer the boat and it will not rock. Well, how does one become an expert boatman, Bhagavat asked. You become expert, Prabhupada explained by becoming enthusiastic, dancing, uh, being <coughs> sincere, confident, determined and patient. Seeing Bhagwat's an anxious face, Prabhupada added, and you must be patient, everything will come in due course. Did you hear this so far? Sitting informally on the bed in his, abbrevi in his abbreviated dochi, Prabhupada had answered Bhagavad's question in such a way as to fully satisfy all the devotees. The devotees were almost, were already satisfied just to be with Prabhupada. But by his answers to their questions, not only they, but all devotees could take encouragement and be satisfied. They would tell the others w what he had said, and everyone would cherish these instructions of Srila Prabhupada. Amarendra also had a question. Amarendra was intense and impas impassioned, and so was his inquiry. Before becoming a devotee, he had been a, a teacher, a leader of campus radicals. Now he wanted to bring that same intensity to bear in spreading Krishna consciousness. Srila Prabhupada, Amarendra said, how can we make them take to this Krishna consciousness? What can we say when we go to preach to people? What can we say that will make them take it? His voice was heavy and forceful, demanding action. You simply <coughs> ask them, to please chant Hare Krishna. Prabhupada replied, whether they take it or not, that is their business. <laughs> that is between them and Krishna. But you have done your business. You have done your duty for Krishna by simply asking them, please chant Hare Krishna. How do, we, how do we take our minds away from Maya and bring them to Krishna? Radha Balaba asked. You must drag the mind. You must drag the mind, Prabhupada said. You mean drag the mind back? You mean drag the mind back? To the, to the sound vibration of Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
And again he repeated, you must drag your mind back to the sound vibration. All right, Prabhupada looked around. You are satisfied now? The devotees responded, yes, Srila Prabhupada, thank you very much. Then they all left. It had been the greatest day and night of, the, of their lives. They all agreed and they would never forget it. Okay, so the Prabhupada. Jai. Okay, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Vasudevaya Om Namo Did we have a class yesterday? Yesterday we... No, we put class. Okay. So we're on text number... 45. Huh? 45. Really? 44, but not 45. You can read. 44, but no for them, then recite 45 together. Okay. Okay, 44, done, maybe, done. 44, did it. Most of things, when I type. Yeah, trending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 44 is done, Guru Maharaj. 45. Did you you read like forty four? Yes, yes, right. Yes. Where the, the the person born from Krishna Vena Thai. Uh huh. Or oh, is it? No. Uh, no, that Krishna Vena Thai come up from Krishna Vena. The dwarf. We have the dwarf. The dwarf. dwarf. The dwarf like person Manuka. from Lord King Vena's body. Yes. Anyway, we're in forty four. There's no purport there. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Narayanam Namaskritya Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Naram Cheva Narotamam Devim Sarasatim Vyasa Devim Sarasatim Vyasa Tato Jaya Mudiraya Tato Jaya Mudiraya Nesta Preshu Vabhadreshu Nesta Preshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati so we're reading Canto 4, Chapter 14, the story of King Vena, beginning text 44. Kaka, Krishna, Krishna. Brasvango, Brasvango, Rashva, Rashva, Ah, na, Bahur, Bahur, Mahahanu, Mahahanu, Rashva, Rashva, Pan, Pan, Ramna, Ramna, Nasagro, Nasagro, Rakta, Rakshas. Rakshas, Tamra, Tamra, Murai, Muraja, Muraja, Kaka Krishna, Bras, Brasvango, Kaka Krishna, Brasvango, Kaka Krishna, Brasvango, 
Krishna, as black as a crow, as black as a crow, Ati Brashva, Ati Brashva, very short, very short, Anga, Anga, his limbs, his limbs, Brashva, Brashva, short, short, Baho, Baho, his arms, his arms, Maha, Maha, big, big, Hano, Hano. His jaws, Rashva, short, short, but his legs, his legs, Nimna, but that flat, 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 Nasa Agra, Nasa Agra, the up, the tip of his nose, the tip of his nose. Rakta, Rakta, reddish, reddish, Aksha, Aksha, his eyes, his eyes, Samra, Samra, copper like, copper like, Murdaja, Murdaja, his hair, his hair. Translation: This person has the, this person born from King Venus' thighs was named Bahuka. And his complexion was as black as a crow's. All the limbs of his body were very short. His arms and legs were short, and his jaws were large. His nose was flat. His eyes were reddish, and his hair copper color. No purple. We'll read the next verse. Text. 45. Come to, come to, 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 Abruvam, Abruvam, Tata, Tata, Sa, Sa, Nishadas, Nishadas, Tato, Tato, Abhavat, Abhavat. Translation. He was very submissive and meek, and immediately after his birth, 
he bowed down and inquired, Sirs, what shall I do? The great sages replied, Please sit down, Nishida. This Nishida, the father of the Nishida race, was born. You can repeat. He was very sub submissive and meek. He, he was, was very submissive and meek. And immediately after his birth, and immediately after, after his, birth, his birth, he bowed down and he, inquired. He bowed down and inquired. Sirs, what shall I do? Sirs, what shall I do? The great sages replied. The great sages replied. Please sit down. Please sit down. Nishida. Nishida. This thus Nishida. The father of the Nishada race was born. The Nishada race was born. First word. It is said in the Shastra that the the head of the body represents the Brahmanas. The arms represent the Kshatriyas. The abdomen represents the Vaishyas. And the legs, beginning with the thighs, represent the Sudras. The Sudras are sometimes called Black or Krishna. The Brahmanas are called Shukla or white, and the Kshatriyas and the Vaishyas are a mixture of black and white. <laughs> However, those who are extraordinarily white are said to have skin produced out of white leprosy. It may be concluded that white or a golden hue is the color of the higher caste and black is the complexion of the sudras. We can read the last verse of the chapter, finish the chapter. After this, after, after his Nishida's birth, he immediately took charge of all the resultant actions of King Dana's sinful activities. As such, this Nishida class are always engaged in sinful activities like stealing, plundering and hunting. Consequently, they are only allowed to live in the hills and forests. Purport. The Nishidas are not allowed to live in cities and towns because they are sinful by nature. As such, the bodies, their bodies are very ugly and their occupations are also sinful. We should, however, know that even these sinful men, who are sometimes called kiritas, can be delivered from their sinful condition to the topmost Vaishnava platform by the mercy of a pure devotee. Engagement in the transcendental loving devotional service of the Lord can make anyone, however sinful he may be, fit to return home back to Godhead. One has only to become free from all contamination by the process of devotional service. In this way, everyone can become fit to return home back to Godhead. This is confirmed by the Lord Himself in Bhagavad Gita. Mami Partavaya Pashritya Yepishu Papa Yonaya Striyo Vaishyastata Sudras Tepiyanti Paramgatim. O son of Prita, those who take shelter of me, uh, 
though they may be of lower birth, women, vaishyas, uh, merchants, or as well as sutras and workers, they all can approach the supreme destination. Thus ends the Bhaktivedanta purports of the fourth canto, fourteenth chapter, qualities of Krishna, or fourteenth chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled The Story of King Vena. Oma jnana tamarandasya jnana shalakaya taktura militam yena tasmai shri gurave namaha vanchatopata rubyasya kripa sindhu vaivacha patitanam pavanivyo vaishnavivyo namo namaha jai shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha, Shri Vasati Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare So we're hearing about how the sages dealt with the situation the, first of all, they were confronted with the problem of a demonic king, Vena, demonic king, useless king, very sinful, King Vena. So the sages cursed him by their, just by their words, they were able to curse him. They didn't need any weapons, they just used the words. So the words were so powerful that they caused the death of Maharaj Vena. But the problem came with the death of Maharaj Vena, the, it was an open field for all the thieves and dacoits to come and to take advantage and to rob innocent people and take away their wealth and cause a lot of trouble in the kingdom. So that was very bad. And the Brahmin and sages, they were worried about that and they thought what to do. But they thought, well, uh, go back. Radha Krishna Kinayaki. The sages, the, the sages thought what to do to adjust the situation. They didn't want to bring him back to life. Didn't want to do that. Some guys have been up. But how to help the people? Because the Brahman and sages were compassionate on the people. And they thought that although Vena is dead, the semen in the body of Vena is good because he's in the line from Dhruva Maharaj. The, the father of Vena was Maharaj Anga. And Maharaj Anga was a good king. And all of his forefathers were very good. And Dhruva Maharaj, of course, great, a very big devotee. So because, he, because the family was coming in the line of Dhruva Maharaj, they wanted to preserve the semen. So they churned the thighs, and from the thighs this Nishida came out. He was a dwarf, and all the limbs were short and very, not not very pleasing to see such people. So this Nishida, he, this, they, they have a whole race of people. We don't quite know how the race came out, but we hear about the first of the Nishidas. The first person was born from the thighs of Vina. And this Nishida took all the sinful all the bad karma that was there in the body of Vena. He took that and the Nishida, they don't get to live in the city. They don't, they, we don't want them living in the towns or the city. They have to live in the jungle. They have to live in the mountains and in the jungle and the forest. We don't want them living where there is civilized society because it will just create a disturbance with their stealing. And the nature is to do these kind of things. 
some people, they have that, that nature that even though they're punished repeatedly, but still they cannot give up the stealing habit. You get people, they come in England, you get people come, the Arabs, you know, they come to England and they go to the shops and they steal, they have a lot of money, but they, they come, they go to the shops and steal. They just, they just do it, you know. They always say, it's okay, I can pay. <laughs> get fined or something, you know. No, it's okay. They just like that. They like to steal. So some people have that, that nature, that tendency. And Prophet saw that in Africa, when he was in Africa, when he was in Kenya. Now what happened was, they did his laundry, and then the body went to look for Prabhupada's laundry, he couldn't find Prabhupada's laundry, it all disappeared. Mm -hmm. So then that night when they had the program, then they saw all the different devotees were wearing Prabhupada's clothes. <laughs> somebody had Prabhupada's kurta, and somebody had Prabhupada's dhoti, and somebody had the feet. <laughs> and they'd all taken Prabhupada's clothes. So, that, that nature is there in some places in the world. Some places. A lot of thieves. A lot of corruption. So, the Nishadas, they're like, a bit like that. They're this one race. I don't know, have they got their own planet anywhere? Is there a planet of the Nishadas anywhere? Huh? I never heard of them. Maybe they're living in the jungle. You know, just like in Borneo, in Borneo they have headhunt skull people, they have, they have the skulls there, right? Some places in Borneo, and they, they, they have the skulls of people. And so they, they live, they, they're living in the jungle. Cannibals. Huh? Cannibals. Cannibals, yeah. Even in Malaysia you've got people live in the jungle, right? Yeah. They don't like to come in the city, they just live in the jungle. But they're not warlike, or they're not violent, are they? Not anymore, Mother. Oh, not anymore. Before they... Yeah. Salvage. Huh? Yeah. yeah, savages. Savages, <laughs> yeah. So, it's, you could say it's karma, you know? People have that kind of karma, that born into that kind of situation. Just like in the universe, there's the lower planets. The demons, they live in the lower planets. In the lower planets, the bottom of the universe, there's no sunlight. So all the light comes from jewels. And they have jewels on their head. Everything is lit by jewels. Bali Maharaj lives in the lower region of Sutala Loka in the bottom of the universe. So, the demons, they don't have, they're not surrendered to the Lord. They don't follow the, the Lord's plan. For, they're always opposing and always fighting with the demon, with the demigods. And sometimes they even come up and conquer the, de the demigods. But their actual place of residence is in the bottom of the universe, in the lower regions, where everything is dark. So, here the Nishadas, they're also living in that kind of place. But Prabhupada said, even they can be made into devotees by association. As they get their association of the road people, they can be changed. So people like Rasikananda, maybe, have you ever read that book about Rasikananda? There's a book written by Bhakti Swami about Rasikananda. Rasikananda was the principal disciple of Shamananda. And Shamananda was one of the three main students in Jiva Goswami's school. There was Shamananda, Srinivas Acharya, and Naratamdas. They were all studying in the Gurukula, 
of Jiva Goswami. And uh, Jiva Goswami sent them with the books. They had the books of the Goswamis. He sent them. He wanted them to go to Bengal and deliver the books to all the devotees. Because Lord Chaitanya had left the world. And after the disappearance of Lord Chaitanya, and when Lord Chaitanya left, then Swarup Damodar also disappeared, and Gadarhar Pandit left the world, and all the great devotees, one after another, quickly, they disappeared from the world. So the devotees were very depressed. But Jiva Goswami was sitting in Vrindavan, and he had all the writings of Rupa and Sanatan and Raghunath and all, he had all their writings. So Jiva Goswami arranged to send it all to Bengal. And he, he had the, the three best students, Srinivas Acharya, Shamananda Pandit, and Narakam Daspato. They were all very expert musicians. They were, they were trained in classical music and they could play instruments also. And you have Narakam Daspato, he was leading wonderful kirtans and Srinivas Acharya, he was also writing and singing songs and he wrote the Goswami Astikam and Narakam Das Thakur, he wrote many, many songs, beautiful songs and in simple language but with a very deep meaning. And of course we sing some of Narakam's songs. So anyway, Shamananda, he but what happened, the books all got stolen at one point. When they were bringing them to Bengal, they came to this one kingdom and the king stole all the books. So they couldn't find the books. They, they, so Srinivas, he, he waited there to try to find out the books and he found the books. But for some time they didn't know where the books were. The books had been stolen in the night. So uh, when the books disappeared, they said, we will split up. And so Naratam went to Bengal and Srinivas, he stayed there in that Jarakand and Bihar. And Shamananda, he went to Orissa. He went over to Orissa, that area. Uttal. So Shamananda had this one disciple, Rasikananda. He was the very first disciple of Shamananda. So Rasikananda was, he was, he was a great hasta, he was in family life, and he spent all his money just feeding devotees. <laughs> he always had a lot of devotees traveling with him, they go around, and they go to the villages, it was all villages, there were no towns or cities then, and they go to the different villages. And some of the villages, the, the people in charge of the village would, would be really, nasty people, not very nice people. But Rasikananda could go there and somehow he would win them over. There was one time he went to one village and the guy in the village said to him, he said, you want me to believe everything you say? You want me to surrender to you? He said, right now there's a mad elephant destroying my village. Go there and tell that elephant to come down and stop destroying the village. So it was a challenge, so Rasikananda said, all right. He went out and he went, he saw the elephant, this huge big elephant with big tusks and was ripping everything apart in an angry mood. And Rasikananda just went up, up, he just came up to the elephant and he chanted the holy name and the elephant just fell at his feet and began to cry and you know, became his disciple. He gave, he gave it the name, gave it the name Gopal. Yeah. It was the disciple of Rasikananda. And then he, he even had tigers. There were tigers coming in the forest. And he would give them food. And they would come to him in 12 and offer their obeisances to him. The tigers. So he, he was a very powerful spiritual teacher. And he converted these kind of people, people like that, these initiatives. These, he could convert anybody to Krishna consciousness. He's so powerful. So, in the Srimad Bhagavatam it says, Kirita, 
Kirita. It says the initiatives there also could be Kirita. Kirita prophet said usually means the Africans. But Nishada means dwarf like people. Some parts of Africa that you have pygmies, right? Pygmies, small sized people. <laughs> And they can born be born in and even, even, even in Malaysia, Maharaj, we used to see such uh, people with such features those days, very short, living, living in general. Yeah, yeah, midget. Midget. <laughs> midget. Even in Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Papua New Guinea also. Yes, Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. Papua New Guinea. New Guinea. Yeah. 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 You should be working in a circus. Huh? Usually they will find a job in the circus as clown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. They jump in. Yeah, I don't know. Good morning, what about? Uh, <coughs> particularly, no, I remember their nose Used to be very flat. Very flat. Good yeah, yeah. mm. what about? Um, in the Ramayan, Kavad, he, 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 he was the boatman from the Nishada tribe. Is that the same? Oh yeah, the boatman. Yeah. Who wrote, who yeah. Brought Ra Lord Rama and Sita and Lakshman across the, the Ganga. Yeah. He was say he, he chanting that how wonderful it is that I'm taking the Lord across the river, but he can take me across the ocean of birth and death. <laughs> Something like that. Because the, the 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 king who was so excited when Ram came. He was the Nishida king, according to the he was Nishida king. Yes. Oh. But he was a devotee. Yeah. Mm. So Srimad Bhagavatam is the prayers of Sukadeva Goswami in second canto. One of the prayers said, Kirita Hunanda Pulinda Fokusha Abira Shumba Yavanaka Shadaya Yadi Chapapa Yadapashraya Shraya Shujanti Tasmai Prabha Vishnave Namaha. So Sukadeva Goswami is describing all different people of sinful races. And he mentions Kirita. So Prophet Kirita is the Nishada in African. And then Kirita Hunandra Hun Huns general with the Germans, the Hans the German. German? I thought Chinese. No, Hans is German. Really? Yeah. And yet we can no. uh, move on. They're yeah, so smart. No, but uh, materially smart. Yeah. Uh, spiritual, spiritual, I mean, I thought the Chinese is the... Uh, no, Chinese are the Kasha. Kasha. Yeah. Kasha bakeries. That's Kasha bakeries. Even now they call the German bakeries the Hans bakeries. Hans? No, the Hans are not the Hans. H-A-N-S. Oh. Hans. But the S is not pronounced. No. So Kirita Han Andra, Andra that part of India, right? yeah. and Polinda Pokesha, I, I don't know, different parts. Prophet mentions where they are, different places. So they're all different sinful races. Abira Shumba Yavana Kash Adaya. Adaya. It means Kasha Desh and others. And others. Adaya. Others. They can all be delivered by Prabha Vishnave Namaha, by the power of the great devotee. So that's what it takes to the great devotee. Like Prabhupada, he could go there. When Prabhupada went to Africa, you know, he told Brahmananda, he said, you know, he said, you're just preaching to the Indians. He said, I send you to Africa to preach to the Africans. You're just preaching to the Indians. Oh, Indians. Yeah. Say, where are the Africans? Yeah. They say, oh, Prabhupada, nobody goes to the Africans. <laughs> he said, come on, you're here in Africa, you have to preach to the Africans. And so they arranged a program for Prabhupada. They took Prabhupada into the African area, Prabhupada did a program. But usually the Indians, you know, they want to know. Now, but better, now they've got more African devotees. Okay. 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 Many of those sannyas, huh? Yeah, some some are sannyas. 
Just do Chinese sanjas at all. No, yeah. No. We're waiting for you. <laughs> this is recorded, bro. It's recorded, right? Yeah. <laughs> we have from Philippines, right? Uh, what is that? Uh, yeah. Janardan. Janardan Maharaj. Yeah. Yeah. First one, I think. He, he joined in Canada. Canada? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Canada. Yeah, he was living in Canada. And Japanese is Panama, right? Yeah. Also joined in Canada as well. Yeah. 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 No, Bano was living in Japan. He met, he met Trump, he met the devotees in Japan. He was studying in Japan. Yeah. Although he's from Canada, but he was studying Japanese and, and he was there in Japan when he met the devotees. And when Prabhupada came, and Prabhupada said, bring him to India. <laughs> so they took Bano to India. So, Anyway, all these different sinful races, they can all be delivered by the power of the devotee. You just take that devotee, that great devotee, pure devotee. Just like Lord Chaitanya could go everywhere, and anybody who saw him, they became full of Krishna Prem just by seeing Lord Chaitanya. And then people who saw Lord Chaitanya, if, they, if somebody else saw, if you saw someone who saw Lord Chaitanya, then they could give you Krishna Prem. Just, just like, you know, COVID or something, you know, somebody's got COVID, they can easily give it to somebody else, and then somebody else can give it to somebody else, and the whole world got it, right? Yeah. Spread all over the world. Contagious. Yeah, contagious. They had, they had typhoid, when there was a typhoid problem, there was this, uh, this girl called Typhoid Mary. Typhoid Mary. They didn't know who was spreading, the, who had got the disease, you know. Everybody was getting typhoid and they were wondering where it's coming from. So many people who got, who, what's happening? And then they found out there was this one woman, you know, one young, one young woman, her name was Mary, and she, she, had, she was carrying the typhoid. She didn't know. And everywhere, you know, everybody got the typhoid. <laughs> so the same way, if you have Krishna praying, if you have bhakti, if you have pure devotion, you can give it to everyone. Wherever you go, you can distribute Krishna consciousness. So, that's, that's what we'd like to see. Change the face of the world. All the sinful people can become devotees. Prabhupada, oh, what, 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 one devotee had, with the Prabhupada had a dream. Prophet had a dream. Uh, people, people were drinking, the drunkards, and they were starting to chant Hare Krishna and becoming devotees. So Prabhupada was telling the devotees, you know, I had a dream. And in the dream, all these drunkards, they were all starting to chant Hare Krishna. And so the devotee asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, were any devotees becoming drunkards? <laughs> and Prabhupada said, no, no, impossible. He said, devotees, their names are already in the books. They are already delivered. It's intoxicated in another way. Devotees are intoxicated with love of God. Yeah, they are intoxicated with Krishna praying. Right? That is the... The, the, the highest intoxication, Krishna Prima. So like that, devotees, they can, once they, they take to Krishna consciousness, they can never go back to that life again. And the people who are engaged in that horrible life, drinking and so many other sinful activities, they can all be delivered, they can be saved by the mercy of the devotees. It just takes the devotee to go and to try and give, give them some mercy. Give them, they make simply wonderful, you know, simply wonderful? Yes. They make simply wonderful. They distribute simply wonderful so people will become simply wonderful. We want to make everyone a simply wonderful. Make them all nice devotees. It's just milk powder, butter, and basin. Just mix them together. Right, it's uh, powder. Well, it's got oh. a powdered sugar. 
All the sugar. Powdered sugar. All the milk. Butter and powdered milk. Yeah. Yeah. And they put some raisins in it if you want. If you want, yeah. Melt the butter and mix it with the powdered milk and powdered sugar. Sugar, not just ordinary sugar, powdered oh, sugar. Nice in it. Yeah, you've got to grind, you can grind the sugar. Proper made it himself. Yes. Anyway, we want to try to give Krishna consciousness everywhere without discrimination. We don't think who is qualified and who is not. Everywhere. Krishna is in everyone's heart. So everyone can become the Guru. It just takes our own effort, our own desire to go there and to reach out to the people to give them Krishna consciousness. And you don't you don't know who's going to become a devotee. Sometimes we oh go to the people where they're more pious, you know. <laughs> But the people who are more pious, there's so much in the more the goodness, they don't they don't want it, they don't want Krishna consciousness. They're so attached to the more the goodness. Sometimes we do better with people who are more in the more the ignorance and passion. But they're suffering more. They're more ready to take Krishna consciousness. Okay, any question? Comment? All right, Hare Krishna. Shri Mataji Bhattam Ki. Shri Mataji Bhattam Ki.